Doubled up, Jimmy. Doubled up. Let's go. Oh, hey, this one might not be too bad, Jimmy. Got one. Oh. Got one on the mag draft. What up, gang? Welcome back to the channel. We are joined in Texas for the first time ever in my experience. Fishing with Norm is in town. Hello, everybody. Yak Pack Outdoors is in town. Hey, let's go. And we're taking them to the world's largest all sports store. The place is absolutely massive. We're at Shields. The boys have got some stuff that they want to purchase that you have never seen before in your entire life. No, they've got some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest freaking fishing store I've ever seen in my life. It's like a mall. It literally looks like a mall. Yeah, this, I can't wait crazy. to go inside and see if there's like anything that we haven't ever found before. Because we have like the same stores, like we have Bass Pro yeah. Academy, Dick Sporting Goods, Walmart. We don't have, I didn't even know Shields was a thing until I didn't you either. said it. So I'm pumped to go inside. Yeah, no, this is going to be sick. This is going to be sick. And these guys do stuff like no limit, no budget, shopping sprees all the time. Trust me, they're going to walk in here and spend 10 Gs in five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it happen firsthand. Look, there's too much stuff in the store. We'll probably be in here for hours. We might even do some fishing with the guys a little bit later. So you guys stay tuned. Crazy. <laughs> Dude, where, where have I been living my whole life where there's not like this stuff just around in tackle stores? I feel like this is just Florida vibes right here. Dude, this makes Bass Pro Shop's tank look like nothing. <laughs> it would be cool if there was like 10 pound bass swimming in here, but it's a saltwater aquarium. How much did you walk out of there spending, Norm? I feel like you, you got a long receipt over here. $170, 100? which honestly, it's On not that bad. But it, we, on the iguanas and parrots, I'm reading in frog and bubble gum for Yak Pack because he was hungry. And <laughs> these cool are baits, baits, the parrot. The parrot is a the, bait. Yeah, so we just bought all the weird baits. So that's cool, I guess. <laughs> that's I what we know. just got into. You guys are going to have to go check out the videos on Norman Yak Pack's channel, fishing with all this crazy stuff. In fact, we might do some fishing with the guys while they're in town as well. So let's go ahead and get some lines in the water, y'all. Y'all, okay, we're continuing this video. It's the same time for y'all, but it's much later for me. Norman Yak Pack have headed back to Florida. And we are back at Shields because they told me I needed to try out this one specific bait. I've been wanting to buy one for the longest time. I've been needing to. I've mentioned it in videos. It is very popular. It is a large swim bait. And and we're gonna try and make things happen with it today. I brought a second rod, other than my big swim bait rod, just in case we can't get them to eat it. Let me just spoil the surprise, you guys. It is the Mega Bass Mag Draft. I'm gonna try and find the eight inch and some sort of a shad color, like a whitish uh, color is what I'm gonna go for. If they don't have it, then maybe I have a different size or an alternative color and we'll just make things happen because I'm excited to showcase this for the first time. There's 20 to 30 mile per hour winds today with gusts up to 35, maybe even surpassing that. So we're gonna hit the banks today. We are not taking out the boat or kayaks. We're gonna go to a spot you've seen before. We're hitting it with Torrance Pond Boys himself. I think this is gonna be a crazy episode. If we catch a fish on this bait, I expect it to be a five plus. I'm looking forward to it, y'all, let's go. There we go, this is what we need. 25 buckaroos, I'm thinking the eight inch though. They've got the, is this smaller? No, it's the same. They got the six, but I'm not trying to go broke. All I need is one for them things today. Tea has arrived. We got the goods. It's time to hit the water. Let's roll. I've needed to get one of these for so long. $25, I like fully expect to lose it today too. The place is real snaggy, you know what I mean? And with this treble hook on the bottom, I'm curious to see how it goes. This will be fantastic for some other spots I have in mind, but today we're hitting this one so ah, gotcha baby put one in there or do you do or do you not do the f I feel like that's how it goes right you put one in there or or is there don't know how I've never thrown it this thing's tried and true it doesn't really need an introduction it's like one of the sickest paddle tail swim baits that there is out there when you're talking about the big baits right some of those big bait guys they're they're gonna be all about this one there's like one big piece of metal that runs through the whole bait I'm pretty sure it's a it's a magnet right in there right isn't that why they call it the mag draft it kind of locks this thing up against the body I don't know it doesn't feel like a magnet, but I think that's why they call it mag draft. I'm clueless over here. That's heavy duty right there. Big, strong treble hook. Assist hook tune. Sweet. Stabilizing hydro fin. New generation swim bait. Japan premium quality. Mega bass mag draft. Patent pending. That's all I got for you, folks. I'm just gonna tell you the gear real quick because it's gonna be very windy when we get there. I'm sorry this whole video is taking place in the car. Not what I anticipated, but with the conditions is what we got. So I'm throwing it on a 7, 10, St. Croix, Mojo Bass, heavy, fast, uh, swim bait, and A-rig rod. This is the Mojo Bass series. And yeah, it's rated for one to four ounces. And I'm throwing it on a Tranks 201, which is the 200 spool size, but the left-handed with the DRT handles and a working class zero flat knobs. Yeah, Tranks. Mojo Bass, Mag Draft, let's roll. All right, y'all, we're here. There's that wind I was talking about. 
Okay, so it's interesting what the hook keeper likes to just flail on out. You might want to go in front of me and I'll follow you up with this because this might, well, I don't know, this might bring him in. So, I mean, like, do I have to set the hook? This thing's got treble hooks. Like, <laughs> I like that kick. I'll tell you what. Wow. That's going to bring some fish up. So every cast, am I going to have to fix this? Yeah. Is this what people love about the mag draft? The hook gets messed up every cast? I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. I mean, I guess I feel the magnet now. All right, we'll see. Dude, this thing is monstrous. All right, that was about four more casts and the hook came out. It feels pretty locked, but then you cast it a couple times. It said something about tuning. Do you like shorten this? I'm, I'm kind of confused. First day mag drafter. Yeah, okay, I seen it. He's on the jig, bottom baits. Oh, well, that's good. I've been reeling that in. <laughs> that was my furthest cast. Is there an optimal way to put this hook in here to get magnetized? Oh yeah, crankbait. Oh god. Oh, 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 oh. Nice, dude. On red. I hear bass can see red very well compared to a lot of other colors. Maybe I bought the wrong color mag draft. He was right along the wall or he was out a little ways? He was out. Okay. You know what I'm thinking is you just leave the magnet, you just leave the hook loose. I bet you it just, it ends up getting tucked up in there and just stays put and the one hook stays down. Oh, dude, smoked at the bank. Wow, Smalley. Nice, dude. I forgot, I didn't even bring my pliers. Do you have stuff on you or no? You don't? Oh no. Dark smallmouth too. Texas smallies out here, y'all. Well, I've been trying to cast it without uh, putting the hook in the body because it just keeps coming out and then it gets tangled up around the nose a lot of times. So I'm I'm figuring out how to work this thing today. Oh, oh my God. Dude, it looks like way crazier right here. Looking that way? You don't have to adjust your zero tension. <laughs> I might fill this mag draft a little bit more today or we're gonna carry this on in the next couple days because we didn't get much. Uh, be sure to go check out Pond Boy's video. He raked them up. Caught massive numbers on the six cents red square bill type of thing. I think it's like a four, five, six foot diver. Yeah, something around there. It's, it's their on the line. 100 four X, to five. 100 XD? Yeah, it's their big boys. Okay, so that's the big six crank right there. Uh, I was throwing the bigger eight inch piece of junk that didn't catch nothing. I'm just kidding, man. I talked a lot of, I talked a lot of smack about this bait today. We know it crushes and it catches some of the biggest fish in the sea. So we're gonna try and catch one here in just a second. We'll see y'all when we resume. All right guys, so we heard Weston couldn't catch a uh, fish on this big old bait. So we're around one of our favorite spots. Got our boy Fishman Dad, Jimmy. Hey, what up? So we had to bring the big dogs to help our boy Weston out here because he is struggling. So we're gonna put him on some bait action right here at one of our favorite urban spots. Let's get to it. All right, y'all, so I learned the secret to the mag drafts success. You guys saw me that first day just like completely casting this thing. The hook comes out wondering what I'm doing wrong. And in fact, there is a fantastic way to get this thing from doing that. So you take one hook and you wanna bend it out. You don't wanna bend the barb though. So you don't wanna flatten that barb. I'm gonna see if I can even make this happen. It's gonna be a little tricky. So if you bend one of the hooks out, oh, that's not working at all. Okay, here we go, y'all. So, what I've learned, mother... Okay, y'all, so here's what I've learned. If you bend one of those hooks out to where it's almost straight, then it's gonna stay up into the body much better, and you don't wanna pinch that barb down, because that barb is actually gonna prevent it from popping out every couple casts. So now the hook is in way more plastic, and it still has that barb exposed to prevent it from coming out, so this should last casts and casts and casts. And we'll have a better hookup ratio, because the thing is, this thing's not gonna come out of the body and be in an awkward position when the bass hits. So, locked and loaded, bend one of those hook points out, good to go. All right, so this is supposed to work, man. I don't know, I heard from not only a pro that I saw demonstrating this, but also my buddy John, who I think he caught his double digit on the mag draft, but maybe it was another, maybe it was another bait. Regardless, he throws them a lot and uh, told me about this little tip right here too. One of the other things that was recommended along with straightening out, almost straightening out at least that one portion of the hook is that these two you kind of clamp together closer, almost like a, like a, an upside down or reverse like frog hook, right? And uh, they say it improves the hookup ratio, but I neglected to do that before we got out here. Anyways, mag draft it is now. I was gonna say, it looked like it, dude. <laughs> I saw your rod playing with you. <laughs> Ryan thought he had a rock for a second, man. I think that's the second one, no, third. At least third hit he's had on the bluegill bait now, so they're active chasing bait. It is just whether they will go after 
the big old mag draft. It has been like eight minutes of casting and the hook is still in the body. So I am definitely happy with that change right there. Total switch up from the first half of the video or quarter or three quarters of the video or however long it's been and however much is left. <laughs> I think Ryan's got a big one. He's raking them up on the bluegill, man. <laughs> We're throwing the wrong bait apparently. You gonna get him up here? He got a catfish. I was wondering what happened there. Man. It's the hatch, bro. Oh, match the oh the ultimate match the hatch photo right the there in, yeah. yo oh my god there's no grass i don't know did you see the did you see the weight on the rod for a second or no whoa dude i don't know those points i just got i just got hit that time for real it was like a something just whipped at the tail Yeah. No. Go on, go on. Got one on the mag draft. Nice. There we go. First one on it. Get up here, boys. <laughs> no. First one ever on the mag draft, dude. <laughs> Heck yeah. Creeping it along the wall. Thank you. Yes. Nate, <laughs> hit it. Whoo, okay. Look at that, dudes. It's like almost the size of the bass. <laughs> almost the size. <laughs> First ever catch on the mag draft. Would you believe it? Stuck him. I didn't know if I had to bite that time. I've been setting the hook like on grass and everything. And that time I gave it a second and then I felt him a second time. No, crank it down. Whoo, that modification. I think made all the difference, dude. I got a lot more confidence in the hooks now knowing they're staying in position every single time. Not a true mag draft giant, but I'll tell you what, to catch one on this bait is the success. Most fun you can have in fishing, man. Let's let him go. Ramp is for baby ducks, but I'm thinking he'll be fine. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alrighty then, thank you, Maggie. Let's hit him with the release and try and catch a true giant on this thing. See you, bud. By the way, you guys, if you want to check out my favorite swim bait reel, look, Ryan's got the swim bait. He's got the reel too. Tranks 200 spool size, absolutely fantastic. Going to be linked down in the description. I've got the uh, cheapest place you can find these babies for you guys, as well as the rod. That, we're also both throwing the same rod. So this is a one to four ounce rated rod as far as your swim baits go. And it's perfect for soft plastic swim baits specifically uh, with single hooks. I know this has got a treble hook, but it's beefy and you're setting the thing. So you want a sturdy rod. That's exactly what we've got here. Everything's going to be linked in the description. These handles are very hard to get. I'll, I'll link them as well, but they're probably sold out if you go looking for him, so. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, oh. Watch out, what is it, what is it, what is it? How much you weigh, how much you weigh? Dude. Oh, dude. Oh, I'm gonna say, I'll say three flat. I'll just say three flat. You're probably closer. Uh, Jimmy, what you got? I'm a three two, but I'm... Loser's GoPro goes uh, in the pond? Yeah. <laughs> no, you two can't point, leave the bait two, in there. 2.7. He's trying to get some extra credit yeah, over yeah, here. Extra ounce, extra What ounce. is this? I'll say 2.7. <laughs> I just wanted a picture, guys. <laughs> 2.7. All right, 2.7. All right, Jimmy's what'd undercutting you, it. What'd you get? Is it the closest without going over? He might have an advantage. He's in the middle. No, <laughs> you're the closest. <laughs> He's the closest. <laughs> so you throw the fake one in there and they grab the fake one to eat him? Yes, sir. That's crazy. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. You too, brother. Thank you. He said he got him one. I was like, oh, it's fake. So you throw the fake one in there and then the real one eats it. I said, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Get it. Woo. Whoa, he's taking you out there. <laughs> he's flanking you. Whoa, dude. Oh. I felt that happen, man. He was shaking it so hard. No way. What's the estimate on that? Probably four. Four? Dang! Maybe even more. That, felt good. that looked good. He hit it and just ran with it. Yeah, he was trying to go deep, dude. What yeah. the heck? He so um, crazy. You you had him pinned. Couldn't have done anything different. Left, Dang. Like, this thing is so scary to work slow, man, because there's all kinds of stuff in here to get snagged on. And I'm just like feeling what you almost think is a bite. And you just gotta kinda give it a second to feel it out because a lot of it is just psyching you out on that grass down there. But sometimes you can even mistake it for the grass and it is a bite. So you just got to be prepared to set that hook. The hook sets are free. So I think we're going to stick it out till sunset tonight, you guys. Oh, no. Probably not good. 
Yeah, I think so. Can you just hand it to me when I get up the stairs? Operation save the mag draft. Thank you. She is stuck way over there. It's not looking good, y'all. Got her. <laughs> Line feels good. Wow. I just saved literally a week's worth of Chipotle money by not losing this thing. That deserves a like and subscribe. So you can fish here, but you can't fish over there. I don't know if they want you to anywhere, but I think it's just the people leaving all their trash here. Oh. Yes, sir. Yeah, it won so far. Our buddy's caught a couple. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank y'all. Dude, Saturday is like the day out here. Uh oh. I think I might have actually. Oh, no. We got her. We got her. Yes, sir. You just came down the street. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. You just seem to get places faster than we do. <laughs> We're on a mission. <laughs> Gotta find the giants. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan just caught another fish, y'all, so people are acting up out here. Yeah, yeah, Dude, get one in here. People will go crazy. There's a lot of people eyeballing us on the other side right there. What's up, y'all? One on the big swim bay, too. Oh, yeah, on the, on the mag drafts I just got. Yeah. <laughs> My pleasure. What's, What's your name? Sick. I'm Nick. Nice to, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Maybe we can get one for y'all, but I don't know. <laughs> Doubled up, Jimmy. Doubled up. Let's go. Oh, hey, this one might not be too bad, Jimmy. That's a big old cat, dude. Big old cat. Hey, can you grab my bag? I got to come over here with it, I think. Yo, I might have to walk it around. Hey, can you help me out real quick? Okay, y'all. I think that was off camera, but we tried to pull that catfish out and uh, he broke the line. So it's like a six foot drop right here where I'm at. And I was trying to like wheel him over to where it's like three feet, but it did not happen. So that guy just snapped us off on the crack and crawl. I'm throwing this. They seem to have shifted their mindset and be going after the bottom baits as the sun's setting. So let's try that again. That thing was probably 10, 12 pounds, maybe. I don't know. Big and do you mean like the the reel, the bait yeah, caster? The, the, the bait yeah. caster reels. I have no idea how to do those. Well, like, we got to get you dialed in on these. So you got that open? Yes. Okay. So just cast however you feel comfortable, and you won't have to really worry about much. Just just cast how you normally would. I've got it pretty dialed into where nothing's just gonna try happen. it. Yeah, just try it. Yeah. Just, yeah. Perfect. And so you know to thumb it too when it hits yeah. the water. Yeah. I, I, I've been taught that. It's just like it doesn't happen. Yep. Also with your grip, and it feels awkward at first. Yeah. Right. It, this always feels awkward. But what happens is you kind of have your thumb on there. So yeah. you got a like, good hold on the reel itself. You might even be like in between those last fingers. It depends mm -hmm. on how big your hand is, I suppose. But like try and give that a, a whirl where you're like more, like thumb is almost over it, palming okay. it, they call it, right? Got so it. then it's it's almost like if something were to hit and you're like this, the rod could twist and all these different things could that happen. You got a little bit more control like mm -hmm. that. That makes sense. Because everything's real tight, right? Yeah. So you're not going to get the same distance. That's great distance, but like you're not going to get insane distance or yeah. what have you. When I click the release, you want it to drop slowly. Okay, that drops kind of fast. So yeah. now, now when it hits the water, you'll really have to stop it. You'll really have to stop it. Otherwise, it'll just continue to feed off there like that. And it could get there. you a little something. Yeah. yeah, which is fine if you do. I don't, I could care less. This time it'll cast much further with the okay. same swing Got and then it. you just stop it when it hits the water and if you don't it doesn't matter okay. yeah. <laughs> where people get it wrong is they just try and get like max distance and set the brakes somewhere like in the medium side mm -hmm. of things instead of like cranking it way up yeah or they don't think about the tension and they leave it loose and those two combined mm -hmm. if you just try and like cast something especially if it's light if it's yeah. heavy it can take the line out much easier mm -hmm. but if it's light a big challenge if you don't like max out the brakes yeah and definitely uh, worry about the tension and if there's wind involved to help you learn faster cast with the wind Like if you can get on the side of the bank yeah, or you can cast with the wind sense. You're in much better shape if you're casting into the yeah. wind That's when you need to crank the brakes up and and tighten the tension when you're mm -hmm. just learning it Dang it. Know. We'll, we'll hook you up down there. Hey, it'd be awesome. Yeah. We'd love it. <laughs> I appreciate That'd it y'all It was nice to meet all you guys. Yeah. I'm out of here y'all Till next time. Thank you guys. Have a good one. All right, y'all. What a crazy day and crazy episode started off with Norman Yak Pack over at Shields. Them telling me I need to try something off the wall and grab one of these mag drafts. You don't know what you're missing out on if you're not fishing new baits. So I went ahead, got something that is, hey, I mean, it's intimidating getting out and throwing these big baits sometimes and dedicating the time to it. We fished it over multiple days in this episode. Got out with Pond Boys. Everyone's going to be linked down in the description, man. Met up with some new friends as well as finished strong with a catch on the bait today. Fish with Fisherman Dad Jimmy and Ryan Rigged. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. And to top it all off, we hooked into a 10 to 15 pound flathead catfish. We couldn't secure the bag on that one, dropped him back in the water, and with that, this episode is concluded. We will catch you guys on the next one.